Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can make a really cool effect inside of Adobe After Effects. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do the field of particles effect inside of Adobe After Effects. So basically the final effect that you're going to be getting is something that looks a little bit like this. As you notice, it has a background with a whole bunch of little particles coming out like this. Now it's a little bit laggy because I have it set on full. If I go to half and I play it back from the beginning, as you notice it has this sort of field of moving particles in the background like that, which is sort of like something which you saw in my intro. So anyway, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can make an effect like this inside of Adobe After Effects. This will work with most versions of Adobe After Effects. We're not using any external plugins or anything. We're using just the basic stuff that comes with After Effects, so you don't need to install any plugins or anything like that. So anyway, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to Composition, New Composition, name it whatever you want to. I'm just going to name it uh, Particle Test, which will save me some time. Go ahead and make it to the basic preset you want to. I'm going to make mine Basic HD at 1280 by 720 and keep all the settings like this. And I'm going to make the duration 30 seconds. 30 seconds is good. Or wait, no, I'm going to make it 20 seconds. Then just go ahead and click OK and here is our composition. So as you notice we have nothing really in our composition. So to go ahead and get started you want to go up to layer and create a new solid. Go ahead and name it name it background and make sure it's fit to comp size. So Just go ahead and uh, click on this make comp size button and it will make it to the composition size. You can also change the color to anything you want to but we're going to be changing that later so just click OK and then as you notice here we have our background layer so to go ahead and make it look like the background layer which I had in this one so as you see here this is what my background layer looked like so to make it look like that what we're going to do is we're going to go to effect generate and then uh, ramp it was ramp and then as you see it looks something like the gradient effect inside of Photoshop or something like that and so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to ramp shape and we're gonna change it to radio ramp to look like that and now we're going to change the start color to sort of a um, I'm gonna do a light blue like that and I'm going to change the end color to really dark blue and it will basically make the ramp look like that right there so there we have our background right there so the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, mess around with our particles now this is where the main effect comes into place so what we're going to be getting is if I go back here we're going to be making these particles that you're seeing right there so let's go ahead and do that what we want to do is we want to go up to layer and create a new solid once again and we're going to name this particles. I don't know if I spelled that right, but it doesn't matter to me. Make sure it's uh, made comp size again. And then for the color, choose the color of what you want your particles to be. So I'm going to make mine sort of a light blue, but you can do anything you want to. Then just go ahead and uh, click OK. And then as you notice, we have another solid with sort of a light blue background. And then here's our background. So anyway, we have this solid that's light blue, and we want to go ahead and make it look like these particles here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to add in a simulation effect. So we're going to go up to Effect, Simulation, CC Particle World. Now this is what's going to turn this solid into these particles right there. So if we go ahead and click on that. As you notice it comes up and looks a little something like this. So uh, let me just go over here and uh, change that to half so that we can see what's going on better. So if I play it, as you notice, it looks like a little volcano coming out, like something you'd see on the 4th of July or something. That it doesn't look anything like the particle effect which I showed you before. So let's go ahead and uh, change it around. What we're going to do is we're going to go over here to grid, and we're going to turn the grid off. So as you see here, we don't have a grid, but we still have our little uh, fireworks volcano. So to go ahead and uh, make it look like normal particles, what we're going to do here is first we're going to go to particle and we're going to change the particle type. Now you can change now you can do this in two different ways. You can change it to a uh, shaded sphere which will look like all of these right here. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Or you can go ahead and uh, do lens convex which lens convex makes it look like these right here. So I'm going to keep mine on lens convex, but you can do a uh, shaded sphere if you want to as well. The advantage of doing it on shaded spheres, you'll be able to change the color through the birth and death color. But uh, if you use lens convex like I'm going to, you need to make your uh, particles uh, solid background that one color you want the particles to be. So I'm going to keep mine on lens convex and that's it for the particles tab. Now we're going to go here to physics 
and I'm going to put the uh, little marker here to over here. So as you see here, if we play, as you notice, it looks just like the volcano, but instead of uh, like fireworks, it has our particles coming out at a volcano. But we don't want it to look like that. We want it to have like sort of a floating particle world. So to do that, we go to physics, and we're going to change the velocity to zero, or it's not 100, zero. And we're also going to change the gravity to zero as well. So as you notice, it looks just like this little blob right here. So now we're going to need to go ahead and spread that blob out. So the next thing we need to do is go to producer and change the x radius. And that will spread the particles out like that. So I'm going to change it to like 6. Change the y radius to, I'm going to make that say 6 as well. And it will look like that. And you can change the z radius as well. I'm going to change it to 6, make everything an even 6. And as you notice, it will all look like that. So we basically took the effect that was before and we made it spread out and look like this. So that could be pretty good if you guys want it to be just like that, if you just want to do that. But uh, if you want to go ahead and do something else, I'm going to show you guys how to make them pop out a little bit. But first I want to talk about this Z radius right here. Uh, the fact about the Z radius is you guys might be saying to yourself, why do we add a Z radius when we don't see the Z radius, we only see the X and Y. Well, that's because if you go ahead and add in a camera effect or go ahead and make this 3D, the Z will actually make it a 3D particle world. So if you go ahead and add in like some 3D panning effects, like using uh, different camera manipulations, it'll look like you're in a 3D world of particles. So that's why we use the uh, Z radius right there. But anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to go ahead and uh, make your particles look a little nicer. Because right now, if we play it, it looks like this and that could look a little nice for some of you guys but if you guys want to make it look a little bit like the one I made right here uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to add in some different kind of effects so uh, we want to make them pop out a little bit so I'm gonna go back to physics and I'm gonna change the velocity to point oh two click enter and if I go ahead and play it as you notice now it looks like it's sort of moving at us so they're moving and they're popping around and that looks a little bit better too and you can go ahead and mess around with the physics if you want to but I like to keep it like that and now the final thing that I'd like to do is I'm just gonna minimize the particle world tab up here is I'm gonna add one more effect I'm gonna go to effect stylize glow and I'm gonna add just a basic glow now you can go ahead and mess with the glow things right here so you can change the threshold you can change the radius I'm even going to change the intensity and make it a little, what if I make it more intense? It will look like that. Now, uh, bear in mind, I'm just going through this quickly because if I write, I do not have that much time left in the video. So, you can go ahead and mess with the glow settings any way you want to. And you can also go ahead and mess with the particles, particle world settings any way you want to. Just until you have the particle world just the way you want to. And if we go ahead and play it back, as you notice, it starts off from nothing. And then it goes to all these glowing, amazing looking particles right here. Now, if you want to make it start so that it doesn't start out at nothing, you just go ahead and take this layer, drag it forward a little bit. Then towards the end, if we just move this over here, drag that over there. Now, if we play it from the beginning, as you notice, now we have just a world of particles. Now, this could be really good if you're wanting to use this as like a background loop for a video, like I did with my video intro, or if you just want to use this as like something to present with, or just something to uh, use in another composition, like if you wanted to make something 3D. So anyway, that's how to go ahead and uh, do it, make a basic particle world. Now, bear in mind, you don't have to use the colors that I use. You can also use any other colors you want to, like red, blue, green, yellow, anything you want to. I just picked blue because I, I really like like blue. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm trying to make everything blue. So yeah, but that's pretty much it. That's the basic uh, particle world effect inside of Adobe After Effects. If you guys want to save it, just go to File, Save As, name it anything. I'm just going to name it um, uh, bleh. click Save, and that'll save it as an After Effects project. And if you guys want to render it out and use it as a real video, all you need to do is go up to Composition, Add to Render Queue. It will bring up the render queue here. You can go ahead and uh, mess with all of these settings right here. Then just go ahead and click render, and it will render the video out to wherever you wanted it to render. In my case, I had set to desktop. But well, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Adobe After Effects tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.